So Isuzu recently launched the 2024 X-Rider. This car is the same engine as the one that completed the one tank challenge, which was a challenge to drive from Johannesburg to Cape Town in one single tank. So welcome to another video. So you might ask yourself, Ayman, what's visually different with this X-Rider from other models? Well, a few things make out the design of the X-Rider. And that is the X-Rider badging, the red Isuzu badge, black mirror covers, two-tone color front bumper paired with LED headlamps and fog lamps, a tow bar that can tow up to 2,100 kilograms. This mainly competes with the Hilux Raider X and the Mahindra pickup Karu. Now with that said, are you going with the Toyota Raider X or the Mahindra pickup Karu or the Isuzu X-Rider? Let me know which one you would go for in the comments below. So the X-Rider comes in three derivatives, which I think makes a lot of sense. The bottom of the range 4x2 manual, the 4x2 automatic and the top of the range 4x4 automatic. These all come with the same 1.9 litre turbocharged 4 cylinder diesel engine both the manual and the automatic gearboxes have 6 speeds and can produce 110 kilowatts and 350 Nm of torque. And that would explain the low towing capacity comparison to its competitors. For fuel consumption, Isuzu is claiming 7.4 liters to the 100 km. This should be feasible as they were able to read 5 liters to the 100 km during their one tank challenge on the manual variant. But this particular variant is the 4x2 automatic, which is the middle of the range. The drive with this car was fairly comfortable, the automatic gearbox adapts to the driving style of whoever is driving. In that way, it makes driving more nicer for whoever is driving at the time. And I think that is a cool feature. That is also paired with cruise control. The only takeaway from this was that the engine was a tad bit underpowered. But that's not a deal breaker. Also feel free to support the channel by subscribing and leaving a like on this video. You can also engage with me in the comments as I always respond. So with regards to the design, I am in love with the front, but we've already discovered this in my V-Cross video I did a while ago. And this car is no exception. As this is the X-Rider, the Isuzu badge is red and you also get X-Rider badges on the sides and on the back. You also get 17 inch alloys and a side step which is standard. While we are here, this comes with a standard 5 years 90,000 km service plan and a 5 year 120,000 km warranty. That is a good thing as some manufacturers now decide to option a service plan, so thumbs up to Isuzu for that one. Coming into the inside, you can immediately tell that this is the X-Rider by the mats, which incorporate the X-Rider logo, the seats, which also have the X-Rider logo, and the dashboard, which has a hint of red, and the logo as well. And the Isuzu logo is red as well to match the theme. For the infotainment, you get a 7 inch touchscreen which can support Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. I still commend Isuzu for having physical knobs for climate controls, but the gauge still a bit old for the year we are in. But the same is true for Toyota and Mahindra. Another plus is that you still have a lot of storage inside the cabin and some more cup holders. The back passengers get the same leather like seats with some red stitching. The seats have an armrest. With that there is also one USB port at the back so the red theme also continues to the back. The cabin feels nice, you do notice a little bit of wind noise while driving, but nothing really to complain about. So as is a Malin guys, let's talk about the price. So the car reviewed retails for 660000 
if finance per month it will cost around 13,000 so to fully refill the car would be around 1,800 and insurance will cost you around 2,500 depending on your profile so the total cost for this Bucky brand new would be around 17,300 but you guys already know that the second car market is your friend I, I can't keep telling you guys this come on Now what do I think about this car? I think if you are in the market for a sporty, life-oriented Bucky, you should shortlist this car. It's a bang for the buck and more than capable for everyday needs. I am although interested on in what you guys think about it so let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please assist support the channel by liking this video and subscribing. Until the next one.